What you see before you on the screen uh, is a layout in planar EM layout environment in AWR Microwave Office. This is actually a filter. Uh, the input is from the left and the output is to the right. So typically what the next steps would be is to add some ports like I am doing right here. Three on the input and one on the output. Now at this point you could simulate and get the S parameters. The trouble is that normally a designer will want to change uh, the size and spacing of the various shapes here uh, to see the performance changes in the filter. And if you do this manually, of course it's first of all tedious, and second of all, as I'm pulling these shapes apart, they tend to get disconnected. So let me show you a very nice trick using P-cells where it can draw the shapes for you. You can change their size and positioning and everything automatically snaps back together before you EM simulate. I'm going to the EM schematic. Uh, this of course is the layout. And if I go ahead and uh, click on the icon that looks like a schematic icon in the top part of the software, which is right there, you see you get this uh, window that looks somewhat like a schematic. It is not a normal schematic. You cannot run a circuit simulation from this, say a linear or a harmonic balance simulation. It's really an aid to help you in the layout, uh, to draw shapes with P-cells, as I'm about to show you, and also to be able to sweep variables and uh, the shapes. Notice, for example, we added the ports in the layout, and you can see them down here at the lower right of the schematic. This is just used to maintain the connectivity between the EM schematic and its layout. You can't do anything with these. They have been audit, added automatically. What's more interesting is the rest of this filter, and these look like model elements. Uh, they are. Uh, the designer has just placed them in the EM schematic. Again, you are not actually going to circuit simulate this, so you're not using the models. Rather, you're using their layouts, and the layouts of these cells have P-cells. And a P-cell is a layout shape where it's controlled by parameters and is automatically drawn. Let me give you an example of this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and vertically tile the layout and the EM schematic. And we're going to focus on the three lines on the left. And notice this parameter here, L1 equals 395. Now, if I go ahead and change that to 500, since these are P-cells, they automatically get larger, longer on the layout. And notice everything stays connected together. Uh, if I go to 200, the connectivity is maintained. So in conclusion, P-cells are a great way to quickly draw shapes and maintain their connectivity and use parameters, which of course then you can go ahead and sweep as you wish.